Okay, so last episode we had the beginnings of a node system and we did have a bit of a problem at the end. We found out that actually my uh, amazing way to uh, stop nodes being connected because of walls, it didn't actually fix all cases. Um, let's have a look at why that is. So you can see here we have a north wall and uh, this node here isn't just blocked from this node, it's blocked from all three of these nodes. And the same for this one, if there's a west wall here, entry three is blocked from all of these three. That's why we had the problem basically. So we just switch camera modes again. Okay, so uh, that's what we're going to fix today, and we are we are also going to add a couple of other things as well. For example, decoration and uh, multiple levels. Although we're not going to do stairs today, uh, stairs and doorways are going to be probably the next episode, and I think then we can actually do a proper pathfinding system based on all of our nodes. Anyway, uh, let's just jump into it. So in the step event of OBJ Battlescape, in our create region, uh, this one here where we're creating node structs, this is where most of our code is going to be for today. And we want to be inside task 2, where, where we are updating our nodes. And here we go. So uh, here where we are... Uh, checking to see if there is a west wall. We've got a new region. It's going to take care of those new uh, nodes that we haven't covered. Uh, this is the kind of thing I was trying to avoid, but um, I didn't really have time to find a better method. So uh, we're just going to have to bite the bullet and do this. Basically, um, AJ3 means the third entry. We're going to grab that from our current nodes uh, entry because the west wall, uh, the, the entry three is directly to the left of it. And then as long as there actually is a node there, then we want to check uh, the entry one and entry seven from our current node. And then we're going to see if these two nodes are actually, or uh, we're going to see if these two nodes actually exist in entries three node walk array because we want to remove it from that if entry one is in entries three nodes walk array then we are gonna delete it and the same for entry seven if it's in entries three nodes walk array then we are gonna delete it and because we have removed uh, one and seven from three we want to remove three from one and seven but we have to check to say okay well is uh, one actually a node if it is then uh, see if three is in its node walk array if, if it is then delete it and the same for seven that's all we're doing so uh, here we are this is the west wall here's entry three we've removed well, we've checked to see if there's a node in one and in seven and removed them from three. Now we're checking to see if there's a node in one and seven. If there is, is three in their walk array? Is three in their walk array? If it is, then we are removing it. And that is the first of the new regions. Is the end region there for it. This curly bracket is for if add three is not equal to minus one. Okay, so we've done the west wall, now we're going to do north wall. So again here, uh, where we're checking to see if there's actually north wall. We have new region. Exactly the same thing that we just did for the west walls, except it's just different entries. So, uh, which makes me think, you know, should I have done this in the script? Maybe I should have. Um, so, uh, we want to see if there is a node in entry 1 of the current node, the node with the north wall. If there is actually a node in entry one, 
then we want to get uh, entry three and entry five and see if they are in entries one node walk array and if they are delete them so that's that done and then if node if the node in entry three uh, exists again see if entry one is in entries three node walk array if it is delete it same for five checking for one delete it and that's the north and that's going to take care of uh, the picture the paint picture that i showed you that's all that okay so now we have done the north wall let's have a look at decoration so uh, what we what we want to do is we want to stop uh, any node with decoration on it we want to stop uh, it connecting to adjacent tiles and we also want the adjacent tiles to stop connecting from it so we're going to uh, use this code here to add everything from the nodes adjacent uh, array into the nodes to delete and that will take care of it for both cases both for removing the adjacents from the node and the node from the adjacents um, let me just show you what this what the game looks like uh, without this code so if we look at the bin uh, we can move the cursor on the bin and it's still connected to all eight adjacent uh, nodes and every node around it is also connected to it so uh, if we enable this code we can see the difference and uh, just to explain it as well all we're doing like I said uh, if there actually is data which there will be because we're still within uh, this if statement here we're still within this so if there's data and there's a uh, there's actually decoration then we're just adding the contents of uh, our current nodes uh, all adjacent array into its node to delete array and uh, we have a, a bit of code that takes care of actually removing uh, the current node and the adjacent nodes from each other's arrays so that's what this is doing and if we run the game we can see the effect that it has if I mouse over a bin it's not connected to any of the adjacent nodes and every node around it is no longer connected see this one here it's a there's two bins near it so it only has six neighbors and that's what we're after um, I might change this like I might allow the decoration to connect to the surrounding nodes because I'm just thinking about if an actor lands on decoration they're going to be stuck so uh, i don't know what i want to do with it just yet but uh, it's a really easy thing to you know to, to sort out so I'm not, I'm not worried about that right now so i'm going to close this region now uh, and we have another one so uh, we have maps that are not just one level they're not flat we have buildings stuff like that um, and also uh, we might want to have actors be able to fly and, and fall so we want to be able to connect uh, to nodes that are directly below us so we can do that so we can fly and fall so um, here uh, we have a new region called tile below and uh, this closing curly bracket is for if data is not equal to minus one so we're still within task two uh, this if statement checks to see if there is actually data and after that closing bracket here we have our new region checking to see if there's actually a tile below our our current our current node so the first thing we want to do is to make sure we are not on the bottom level so if level if level is greater than zero and either there's no data or there's no floor so as long as these conditions as long as this condition is true and one of these is true there's no data or there's no floor then we are going to get the node that's below the current node which is all nodes level minus one x x y y and we're going to add that node to our node walk array that easy so um, we can't test that just yet um, we are going to need uh, code to allow us to change the level which uh, we will do next so let's close this region 
if we go into the create event, uh, we have a new variable, current level, which we're going to increase or decrease. So once you've got that, let's go back into the step event. And we are done with the create area, this stuff. We're done with this now. So now here in ready, we have a new region which allows us to change the current level. And all we have is if we press up, increase current level. If we press down, decrease it. So basically all we need to do is we're going to clamp current level to make sure it doesn't go below zero or above max levels minus one. Okay, so now we've actually been able to change the level. We need something visual now to reflect our new code. So let's go into the draw event. And this was our previous code that we had last time. We're going to change it to this. So now node, we, we don't care about what level it is. We're just going to say, okay, uh, node equals all nodes levels X, X, Y, Y. And we're going to check to see if that node exists in our neighbors array, which remember uh, wherever we have the cursor, um, it detects node and that nodes uh, walk array gets saved in a, in a neighbors array so we can see it. So, um, and this is going to allow us to check for uh, tiles below us when we're on levels higher than zero. So, uh, this is the same as before. I'm just re explaining it for some reason. And then uh, this has been updated because we want to account for current level. So, if xx equals cursor x and yy equals cursor y and levels equals current levels. Though, you know what? It'll be faster if we actually do this. That'd be actually be faster. Okay, so let's run the game. We have all of the expected neighbors. This guy has two, this guy has none. What about if we press up? So now you can see um, we're on the second level. Or first level if you're English and this all the, all of these have nine neighbors and you can see the adjacent nodes around it and one below highlighted uh, would, it, would there ever not be one no I think they're all gonna be connected oh I said if there's a floor right so uh, if we go to the roof to the ceiling they're not they're not connected to the tile below so they still only have eight this has nine, this has eight. So you can imagine when we're doing like pathfinding, uh, the actor is here. He wants to get over here somewhere like on, on the ground. So uh, we calculate, okay, you're here. Uh, you want to move here. And then because it's connected to the floor below it, you want to go down and then down again. And then we can just use our connected nose to get to where we want to. That's how the pathfinding is going to work. All of this stuff we're doing today and all of the, all of the visual stuff debugging things is to uh, make sure that we don't have to worry about it uh, when we're doing pathfinding so we should be able to we should be able to know that okay the nodes are definitely connected in the right way uh, you know if there's a problem it's the it's the pathfinding code it's not the nodes themselves so that's what all this stuff is for um, we're gonna leave it there today uh, we have a couple of big big things kind of i would say we have to account for stairs we have to account for doors because right now a door is a wall which is what we want kind of no it's not we we want a door to be movable through whether it's open or closed so we have to account for that um which is going to be probably a bit of boring data inputting but anyway thanks guys uh thank you for watching i will catch you next time bye for now